Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Photoshop, Photography and Lightroom. Today I will teach you a uh, truck tutorial. Uh, it is about photo manipulation and uh, it's really a nice effect as you can see here and uh, I will show you. This is before and uh, this is after. So I hope you will enjoy this video and uh, it's really a nice effect using truck. So let's see how to work this type of project in Photoshop CS6. I'm in the Photoshop CS6 and uh, I am having this image. This is completely a plain image. So I will make a new copy for this by pressing Ctrl J. Now here my aim is to crop the truck from the white background. So choose magic wand tool and uh, click on white and then the white area will be selected now hit delete on the keyboard now this area is now selected white hit delete hit and delete 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 now control D to deselect so I will make a again new copy of this cropped truck and uh, I will go to this smudge tool smudge is like uh, uh, you can drag the part of uh, any any part of this truck like this and uh, you can strength it up to 28 like like this now I have this uh, paint splash now I have cropped this image and I will move this to image on this truck and now its uh, color is red and its color is blue and later on we can change uh, the color of this paint splash by using uh, hue and saturation firstly uh, I will position it and make a multiple copy for this so so firstly I will position the truck somewhere around uh, on the lower side of this frame okay now select this layer and make uh, four to five copies of this I think four is sufficient control J control J control J control J I have made five copies and uh, select all layers control T uh, hold shift and move this okay now I will hide all three layers and uh, position it as uh, uh, I want this paint splash to the behind of this truck so I will drag this to the behind part of this truck okay now I will make uh, visible one another now control T uh, somewhere make it small okay now I also want to this print splash to the behind of this truck okay now it's looking better now I will active one more paint splash and uh, I will set it around the around this uh, tire control T and make it small again control T and uh, position it
now I will also set its position to the behind of this truck so that uh, okay now uh, now I have set the position of all paint splash as well as truck and uh, now I will make a new layer and uh, new adjustment layer uh, then go to human saturation now I want this effect only three uh, only these three paint splash layers now make a group uh, select all layers now move to this group now I want this uh, hue effect only on three these three paint splash and uh, click on alt button on the keyboard and uh, hold it and uh, move the mouse in between two layers now you will get this down arrow and click once and uh, now the I will affect only on these layers so uh, I want blue shade I think uh, it's completely matching complete matching its color saturation it's completely matching now okay mm. I think uh, it's not looking nice because it's uh, not matching with the tire so I will make a new copy control J and uh, move to down again down and uh, I will go to hue and saturation adjustment and uh, click on here and uh, I want this effect only to the this tire splash mm. now desaturate it now match it with the tire color okay uh, it's nice see this is before and this is after so I think uh, I have got the complete uh, paint splash on the truck and uh, moreover I will remove this black line so make a make a mask and uh, apply brush Control Z. Okay. Now I want uh, black background, so make a new layer only behind all these layers and fill it with black and white. Black. Now make a new copy and uh, choose brush hardness 0 I want to remove this uh, this line select truck layer click on mask and uh, choose brush
now it's nice and uh, come on again to this now go to adjustment layer then uh, gradient map I want uh, gradient map this now click on OK and uh, set its blend mode to something about overlay and uh, you have this uh, white white background now I will reduce the opacity for this around uh, 48 now I have this uh, texture paper uh, yes you can see this is paper texture it is easily available on the net and uh, set its position and uh, set its blend mode to overlay something now I will go to this black layer and uh, something about this white and again choose brush white brush softness 0 hardness 0 sorry and uh, opacity around uh, 9 14 15 and I will apply this around uh, it is too much black so that we can get effect all around this image now finally I have got 90% and few adjustments I want uh, I want to blend this truck tire into the this background so I will choose this layer it is a topmost and uh, again go to this adjustment layer then choose level and clip it with the truck layer and uh, I want uh, black completely black tiles okay now I will make a new layer and uh, I will choose black brush reduce the size apply this for this tire so that I can blend this similarly here make it bigger and uh, apply it fit it to screen ok very nice now again go to adjustment layers then uh, go to curve I want some contrast again I will come to this uh, this paint splash and because it's not again matching so click on hue and saturation and uh, increase its saturation and adjust the light ok very nice something around that so I hope uh, you, you have liked this video and uh, it's a really a nice effect and moreover you can you can do and uh, you can merge this uh, down parts here some down parts here and uh, choose brush and uh, apply this opacity having uh, I think uh, okay and you can do one thing more that uh, you can delete some white points some white points are here control D and make sure you have choose this truck layer hit delete
somewhere around this hit delete to delete control D to deselect so uh, as you can see here this is original and this is after and uh, this is after so I hope you have liked this video and uh, somewhere a uh, problem is around this part and uh, I want to desaturate again it okay no hide this layer okay I have yeah you have liked this video and uh, mm, So you have you have liked this video and uh, please subscribe my channel for more updates and uh, thank you friends keep watching our inscription and uh, you can subscribe my channel on YouTube and you can send me a mail if you want any specific tutorial so thank you friends keep watching our inscription.